everybody I hope you're all doing really well today so today I'm gonna film a full foundation routine for you so this is going to include foundation and concealer basically um, so I've been asked by several people what my current foundation routine is and what I'm doing and so I just wanted to film it for you guys so uh, I will be back in a minute without any of this makeup on and just a blank face so I'll see you in just all right so I'm back without any makeup on at all so I put on moisturizer and primer. So the first thing um, that I've been using a lot lately, and I've talked about this before on videos, but it still is my favorite foundation for a full coverage type foundation, and that is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. So my shade is 1.1, which is their lightest shade, I believe. Um, so I just get two pumps of this, and I dot it around, second pump, and I find that two pumps is a good amount for my face. And my current favorite foundation brush right now is the foundation, uh, the airbrush, I think it's called the airbrush foundation brush from Tarte. Um, and actually, incidentally, about this foundation brush, um, my sister recently purchased the Today Special Value that Tarte had um, that had this brush with it uh, on QVC. And um, I felt, I compared my foundation brush with hers, and hers is different than mine. So I have experienced that before with their Today Special Value kits, where Tarte will have like, a, you know, um, a similar brush and it is supposed to be, I mean, it doesn't say that it's any different quality whatsoever as the one that they sell normally in the stores, but I found that it has been. So one time I got their, um, it's like a stippling, uh, it's called like the Air, Air blush brush or something like that. It looks like a stippling brush but kind of large and they use it for their blush. When I got that in a Today Special Value it was like exactly the same as the one they sell in the store but when um, I got the Today Special Value that had the blush brush, the blush brush was a lot worse quality than the one in the store. So occasionally they're the same, sometimes they're different. I, I wouldn't say my sister's brush was bad, I would just say it's different and you know just a difference in a brush can make a big difference in just how something goes on. So just something to be aware of. But this brush I really love, the one that I bought in the store. So, alright, so I just, you know, buff it in really good, the foundation. And my skin right now is, I had some recent really bad breakouts, and so I still have some marks to cover up from that. Um, just buffing this in really, really good. So I don't have any lines. And I buff it in really good, like around my ear, and, you know, into like the hairline and stuff. Just make sure that it's all over done really well. Okay, so um, the second thing that I do is I am still using my Laura Geller um, Balance and Brighten and I'm kind of in between the shades Fair and Porcelain so what I do is I just open each of these up and I take my Kabuki brush um, and different Kabuki brushes work differently with this and uh, just depending on how stiff it is or not you'll just get a little bit of a different finish so I'll dab it in one and then dab it in the other and then I will like buff that actually picks up a good bit of product because the um, powder kind of comes off sort of loose so I'll dab it like once for a large area like once over here and I'll get it on my ear really good and then I'll dab again and do the same thing on this side of my face and um, this balance and brighten foundation it's it's a I don't know, I, I think of it kind of as like bare minerals, but on steroids, I think it gives a little bit better coverage. Um, I mean, obviously you can get the coverage that this has with bare minerals, it's just once you start to get that, I feel like sometimes it starts to look cakey, I guess. Which this will too if you put too much on, but, um, so I usually dab it on, I use like one one for this side, one over here, one for this area, one for this area, and then one for this area is usually how I do it. And just buff it into sort of in a no-brainer way, just buff, buff, buff. And then the last would be here. And so I don't try to avoid like my eye area really when I do this because I have a lot of um, uneven skin tone around my eye area and my eyebrows and like like this and I have like lighter skin tone along here which um, makes like a uh, like blue uh, vessels kind of like show through my skin here and here on my temples so sometimes I go over that area again and sometimes with a little bit darker color 
just so um, it kind of counterbalances everything and makes sure that my whole entire skin tone is nice and even. And so, um, like I was saying, I had some recent breakouts, and so I have some marks from those that I need to cover up. And then also I have uh, pretty dark under eye circles. So um, usually I do my under eye circles first, and I have been experimenting recently with um, putting on this Laura Mercier Secret Concealer in shade 1. Um, I've been putting that on my um, underneath my eye, and I always put on under eye like a... Uh, cream concealers. I always do it with my finger because I find that my skin at least is so delicate there that when I do it with a brush it seems to collect in a funny way <laughs> on my skin and um, this provides just the best most natural looking coverage if I just dot it on with my finger. Um, and so this Laura Mercier concealer um, it was kind of like collecting in my crease a lot so what I've been experimenting with like I was saying is I have been putting Bare Minerals Mineral Veil on top of that immediately um, following putting the concealer on and those two together have been doing a really nice job of keeping it from creasing and just my under eye area now that it's summertime it's not getting um, gooey or anything like that throughout the day like it's just stay, staying nice and dry and the concealer staying put um, so I like that and um, after I do that I'm gonna do my other eye and then I go over that again um, because you can see like there's still a little bit of purple showing through I have really dark um, purple bluish eyes um, under eyes so I go back in and I put um, uh, a bit of too much I got <laughs> a bit of the um, combination of summer bisque and well rested by bare minerals under the eye on top of that and that just makes it really really full coverage um, totally gets rid of my dark circles for a brighter brighter look Okay, so then I just need to go back in um, with some other concealer and take care of the little marks all around my face. And so I've been using um, CoverGirl Plus Olay Concealer in the shade Fair Slash Light. And this is just a really good drugstore concealer, really creamy. And since my skin isn't really bad, um, and because I really like the texture of this, it doesn't go on and look really cakey on top of the foundation uh, routine that I just used. Um, I've been just dotting it on with my fingers and that's been working fine for me. Sometimes I use a, a brush to put on concealer but it just depends. It sort of varies. i got some spots over here to the left of my mouth. Oof. And... Then once I do that, a lot of times I will follow up in most places with a little bit of that summer bisque and well rested combination. Um, and so I'm going to do that now real quick just to kind of set the concealer. It keeps it from moving as much, especially since it's summer and it's so humid where I live. It's so icky. I just buff that in with this little brush that I have. Um, this is a Hakuhodo brush, uh, and I would tell you the number, but they don't put their numbers on their brushes, which is irritating. Um, but, okay. So if you guys really want to know what the name of this brush is, ask below, and I will look it up for you. It's just a pain to, if nobody cares, <laughs> what I'm using to look up. All right. Alright, so that is my foundation routine and it's just kind of how I put on foundation and concealer to just sort of make like a completely blank canvas. So I may look a little ghostly or whatever, but that's kind of the point because then I can now go in and put on blush and um, contouring if I want, bronzer if I want, and then all the eye makeup and the eyebrows and, and lips and then it will look all um, a whole lot better than it looks now. But anyway, I wanted to do this foundation routine for you guys because several 
several people had asked uh, what I've been doing, and so uh, this is what I've been doing. So just wanted to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love to hear from you guys, so if you enjoyed this video or learned anything um, from it, please comment below, or if you've used these products and you, you like them, or if you want to try them or anything, um, please let me know. Love to hear from you. So um, talk to you later. Bye.